Jordan Richardson is our uh, next guest on our AT&T line, wildlife outreach technician in the Department of Natural Resources. Thank you for being available early this morning. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> so where are you located? Um, out of the Plainwell Customer Service Center. Plainwell, that's near Grand Rapids? Just north of Kalamazoo, yep. Okie dokie. Have you seen a bear? Well, we've had uh, one wandering around southwest Michigan recently, um, but he's just made his way early this week into Indiana now. Oh, you're tracking it somehow. Yeah, we get calls um, a lot by people spotting it when they're driving by, um, and that's how we're tracking it because he's on the move and we can never he's not staying in one location how big is he um that he's not small by no, no. means but yeah. it's not he's not an adult bear um he's he's probably what we like to say like a teenage bear mm-hmm. <laughs> um and the ones that wander the most are the young ones that are just trying to find their own grounds mom has just kicked him out and uh so he's just trying to find his place, um, and I guess he likes Indiana. I wonder where he's going. He might not stop there. You know, maybe he's going to go down, uh, go down to Texas or Florida or something. Yeah, like exactly. Hopefully, he is okay going that far. <laughs> so you suspect he was born in Michigan? Oh yeah. Yep. He started. We followed him down all the way. I think the first sightings um, were in Ravenna, which is Muskegon County. What does he eat? Um, bird seed. That's what oh. his go-to meal is right now, and that's what people have been finding because birdseed has such high fat content that they just love it. Hmm. Is he dangerous? No, he's not. He's been living his life, you know, just being a bear right now, and they are. Bears are generally fearful of humans, and when they, we have a few videos of the bear, and um, someone had tried to talk to it um, from a distance, of course, but it ran away right away. Oh. So. Is it unusual for a bear to be this far south in the lower peninsula? It is, actually, yeah. Um, we normally have a couple bears a year travel down south, hmm. um, but normally they make their way back north. Um, but this one just seems to be going. I'm reading an article that says a 200-pound bear was struck and killed along M37 south of White Cloud. Yeah, that was... Monday, I believe. He hit the bear on the road. And then there was a bear that killed a beagle near Cadillac? Yeah. (laughs) It's just bear month, I guess. (laughs) So if you have pets, I mean, I know in Colorado this is very common, right, to see bears walking down the street, but Mm -hmm. it's not in Michigan, at least in this part of Michigan. Not, no, um, not in southern Michigan. Now, the northern lower peninsula, yes, there are bears more bears and a steady population of bears up north. Um, And we're thinking that the one that attacked the beagle was because they were both surprised. She had cubs, um, startled both of them, and it's a wild animal. Um, Yogi beats Snoopy in that case. (laughs) Yep, exactly. (laughs) Uh, What about it now if you you should encounter one in your backyard or at your bird feeder? Um, You... What you want to do is start yelling, make loud noises, um, try to scare that bear away. Uh, If you encounter the bear in the woods or on a trail, um, never run. Stand your ground. Look as big as you can um, and just back away slowly. Wow. That would be hard to do while you're going to the bathroom (laughs) in your pants. You know yes, I mean? exactly. <laughs> Hopefully, it doesn't come to that point. But because <laughs> the the you know what the bears we see in the movies are, some they're often like grizzlies or polar bears or something yep. like that. Yep. But uh, in this case, uh, th- this is not the, the kind of bear that would necessarily attack you. No, exactly. Um, Michigan only has black bears, um, and they their black bears are considered opportunistic feeders. So they only they take advantage of the seasonally available foods like plants, and um, but they will occasionally consume meat and insects. But they <laughs> they also like the suet feeders, the bird feeders, all that kind of good stuff. They like, like honey candy. too, right? I saw yeah. Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, exactly right. They will uh, try to break into some uh, beehives as well. <laughs> what if the one you come across is smarter than the average bear? Um, give the DNR a call. <laughs> Should you call anyway if you see it? Yeah, yeah, we do like to track those reports. Um, 
it is interesting to see his movement in, or their movement. Um, mm -hmm. You can call your local DNR customer service center, and you can look those up on our website. It's www.michigan.gov slash DNR, and you can just search for which one, whichever one. Um, do you think there's such a thing as Bigfoot? <laughs> well, <laughs> um, I would say probably not, um, but I there are no sightings, I suppose, um, in Michigan, so... They used to say somewhere around Marquette there was a, a search for Bigfoot. Uh, that was about eight years ago. I don't know oh, if, he, okay. if he went to Indiana too or what happened to him. <laughs> I could have. But, they must like that state. <laughs> I know. You know, I never forget riding around in Aspen and just seeing a giant. They appear to be a brown bear just oh, okay. walking through a neighborhood. And I thought, how could you sit on your deck at night, you know, wondering if that thing is going to come around the corner? And they yeah. were everywhere. Yeah, those might startle you a little bit more. <laughs> it was as big as a Volkswagen, it seemed like. But... This is uh, not dangerous, but still, use your head and stay away from the bear and call the DNR. Well, thank you very much, Jordan.